Hello everyone, we've got two more exercises left in our eight exercise progression to turning your glutes on during the deadlift. Number seven today is the sumo deadlift. Okay, so we're actually getting into a deadlifting variation. And now that we've done all that work on the ground, and we did the single leg stuff that helps us find the position and maybe um, slightly easier to find the glute positions. Now we're going to start to progress this to something that looks a lot more like deadlifting. And in fact, this might be the variation that you prefer to do over the long run. The reason this, um, to spoiler alert, the next one is a conventional stance deadlift. The reason that this one, this sumo stance is first is because at the top, my glute is a lot shorter and it's easier to feel. So the progression is finding the glute when it's harder to feel. Okay, that is a motor control progression for you to challenge yourself. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Number seven is the sumo deadlift. Here, same principles apply, right? I want actually a little bit of round back here. I want everything pretty straight. And then at the top, I'm here. Okay, just like I don't want to go over all of it again. I've talked about deadlifting previously and specifically in the last video we had the single leg deadlift. We talked a lot about one, the back position, a little bit of hip tuck allows me to feel my glute and then bringing the hips forward to initiate standing back up like this. Okay, so the difference is not this, but this. Okay, I initiate with the butt coming forward. I'm gonna go slow-mo now. And there I feel it. Now, if I bring my feet in, it's a little bit harder to feel that. I get more adductor and a little less glute, but it's still possible. And we'll talk about that in the next video.